Hi guys, R.I.B. Rob Ian Bonnick, inspirational speaker, inspirational coach and author of Soul Survivor. This one, How an Abandoned Child Went From Nothing to Everything, published by New Holland. Today is a very special day. It's the end of a journey, guys. Summary, end of a journey. 21 days ago, I was walking down here, all right, walking down this pathway, shooting our original Welcome to the Group video, you remember? 21 days ago. Since then, we've had 21 days of great content, 21 days of how to turn your story into a book, right? 21 videos, uh, including this one, it's number 21, right? So now you're well on your way, well on your journey to starting your book, right? Well on your journey. And tonight, now, wherever you are, the details will be below, but the live event will be on the live event and in that event we will go through all of the main points of what we've gone through here we'll bring it all together right we'll introduce points that you haven't even heard of before so for those who have been through all the videos so far there's going to be more information for you right than what you've heard already right it's going to be a really really powerful session we're going to go through the front remember the title the cover 60% of books are sold on the cover title alone 30% of those books are never read, but won't worry about that. It's not going to be you. On the back, book summary, 120 words, divided into the third, right? About the book, about you, and then what am I going to get? What is a reader going to get from reading your book? The contents page, rewritten as newspaper headlines, the chapters, the emotional writing technique that we went through, right? That speed writes your book using your subconscious mind in your favor, right? Incredible technique, that one. How to edit your book. The three things that people usually fail, right? And why they don't finish their book, right? Then we go into self-publishing, publishing, which one should you do and why, right? Do you want to turn your book into a brand, right? And then we've got, the, we've got some great resources to share with you about, about that one. My PR partners, which are incredible. Feature articles in the, 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 the best publications in the world, right? So we've got all of that coming tonight, coming for you. The, the very first three questions, why are you writing your book, is one of the most important ones. And on that note, what I want you to do before tonight's session, to get the maximum value out of it, is to, is to think about what is your why. Now, let me just frame that for you. Now, whether you are knowing exactly what you want to write, whether you're at the stage of you're in the middle and you're stuck, you're at the end, you can't put it down, or whether you're just literally working at what it is you want to do. Why, you can still start thinking about, because your why is what drives the whole thing. So I gave you an example of Stephanie Rodriguez, um, one, of, one of my clients, right? The short version is that this is an incredible woman who set out with intention to positively impact the lives of one billion people. You heard it right. One billion people, right? And then what happened to her, little did she know, and I'm sure this wasn't in, in, in her idea when she was thinking about this in the first place, was that what ended up happening to her is that, you know, she was in Africa, in Nigeria, launching um, one of her apps, right, which is there for, to support um, women all over the world, right? A really powerful app. She was bitten by mosquito, contracted malaria, only when she was flying out of Boston, transit to go back to Sydney, did she collapse, right? And basically spent over a hundred days in hospital in the US, over a million bucks, right? She died three times, three times, away from her family, away from her friends, three times, imagine that. Toes amputated, imagine that. Wanted to amputate her legs as well, imagine that, right? She, she, she said no to the legs. So what I'm trying to get you is that, you know, what drove her to live? She had a mission. A mission to positively impact the lives of one billion people that she set two years ago. And our book, the book that we're writing together, is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to have a massive impact on that mission. Another one, which I was advising, two Indonesian women, Matilda Drilestadi, Didi, the climbing partner, now they are the first two Indonesian women to climb the seven highest mountains on earth in each continent, including Everest, right? Now Indonesia is a Muslim country predominantly, okay? Imagine that, two women 
climbing the seven highest mountains, the highest mountain on each continent, including Everest. What, a, what an achievement. They want to inspire women, not only in, in Indonesia, but all over the world. Right? Massive why. Massive why. Marsha, Jamaican lady. Right? Another one of the clients that, that, we're, that we're, we're going to be running a book together. So she's raised hundreds of millions of dollars for charity in Jamaica. She's a powerhouse woman, this one. Not to be trifled with. When, you, when she speaks, you listen. Right? She, and it's all about to do with poverty. You know? So she's got a very clear why. Right? Another lady, Christina. Um, you know, another woman, phenomenally intelligent woman. You know, but driven out of a desire, you know, to uplift the lives of other women all over the world. All right, so the very big whys. Am I saying your why needs to be that big? No, not necessarily. It can be a why for your family, it can be a why for you, it can be a why, you know, for your community. But what I am saying is that when that why is so big, is so vast, that you cannot do it by yourself, it takes on another power that you cannot possibly imagine. And the universe conspires to support you in achieving that goal, in achieving that mission. You know, think about Gandhi, think about Nelson Mandela. Again, massive guys here, but I'm just giving you an example, right? So whatever the why is for you, think about the why. What is the why? What is the why? Don't worry about the book if you're not at that stage yet in terms of what it's gonna look like, but just, but why are you doing it? You know, like for me, right? So this book here, you know, Soul Survivor, How an Abandoned Child Went From Nothing to Everything, published by New Holland. So this, this one here, right, my, my why is clear. I grew up in two children's homes in London. You know, I wasn't given any prospects to do anything well. That children's home was run well, but still big stuff happened, you know. Brutal stuff happened. Guy got shot in the head, not in the children's home outside of it, but he was part of us. Bullying, racism, like, read the book. There's, there's a lot of stuff in there, right? Some things that you would have imagined, some things you would have never would have imagined. But here's the thing. In the back garden on a Sunday afternoon, 18 kids of different cultures playing football together, 20, 30 other spectators coming in of different faiths, religiosities, uh, ideologies, ways of seeing the world, right? All galvanized together around the things that make us human. Not, not what makes us different, but what makes us similar. And dropping all the other things. Money, no money, hair color, eye color. All these things are being dropped because they're not needed, they're not necessary. You know, like, this is how powerful, and this is what drives me to this very day. I do events for 10 people, 5 people, 1,000 people, 5,000 people, 10,000 people, tens of thousands of people. But the ethos is the same. It's about connection. It's about holding spaces for people to drop into self-realization, right? In a way that they see that you is actually me, I am you. You are the reflection of me and so on and so forth, right? And it's doing it in ways that don't often uh, come as the obvious way of a meditation camp or a yoga center. No, I do it in different ways, right? But it's collaboration. Just like in the back garden we were collaborating now, I'm doing the same thing. And that's driven me for years. I'm 50 years of age. That's driven me for like 40 years. <laughs> right so what is your why what is your why if you don't know it that's okay but just start to think about it think about what drives you right if you can get to that then tonight's session is going to be even of more value because you because you may not know exactly what you're going to write about the content but you'll know the context you'll know the why you'll know your why and when you tap into that you become unstoppable Really. And on that note, actually, Unstoppable, I just want to give a shout out to Rhonda Swan of Unstoppable Brands. Because, you know, 21 days ago when I was walking down this path over here doing the intro video, right, all of this was made possible by the strategy that Rhonda laid out to me, right? The course that Rhonda has, right? That allowed me to put all of this knowledge, wrap it up into one beautiful way of just presenting content that's free that's powerful, that's impactful, that's useful, that has a real value. You know, thank you, Rhonda, right? Thank you very much indeed, darling. Really appreciated, right? So, again, you know, wrapping this all up, the live session that's coming to you very, very soon, just check the details of, of where and when. 
It's coming to you very, very soon. Like get the why worked out or just think about what that would look like, what that is for you. And you will maximize the live session that we're going to do next. All right? So look, I'm sure that if you've watched all these 21 videos, you've got some crazy value. They're all free and there's an online course coming, but there's an opportunity to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Just, I mean, on here you'll probably have my personal uh, message there that you can send a message to, or my email is rib, that's R-I-B, Romeo Indigo Bravo, rib at robertianbonnick.com. Just send me an email, uh, discovery call, we can talk about one-on-one -on -one coaching, we can talk about the online course, okay? We can talk about what's sticking you, what's blocking you, and how to unstick and how to unblock you, right? We can do all of that. So, so feel free to reach out to me all right and we can work together in a, in a more one-on-one -on -one kind of fashion where, where you get extreme value all right or you can take me up on that free discovery call it's free right and no matter where you are whether you're thinking about writing a book but don't know where to start whether you've started a book and don't know how to finish whether you're finished a book but don't know how to put it down right i can help you with all of that okay or whether you're looking into branding you know you're looking to wrap this all up into a brand a powerful sexy brand and monetize it right we can do that too so that discovery call can handle whichever whichever place whichever perspective you're in we can help right so so definitely take us up on that offer there's a free cheat sheet which runs down you know the basics of what you need to do to write your book that one is free as well so there's a great deal of value and make sure you join the group turn your story into a book turn your story into a book great group lots of advice lots of bonus material in there and again it's free right but that will really empower you to start you know what one guy Andrew he was looking to start his book and he's been talking about it, thinking about it for a while and he couldn't he couldn't get it done we had one session one discovery session gave him the inspiration from the inside out He's finished that book. It's out there on the shelves already, right? So many, many people I've helped, assisted, supported, and inspired. Because at the end of the day, it's about finding the inspiration within you. Someone else can't do this for you. It comes from you. But what we can do, what I can do, is to stoke that inspiration within you for you to get an incredible result, all right? So look forward to seeing you tonight or whenever the live event is going to be, probably tonight. And uh, check the details below for when, you, when the next live event is for you in your time zone. All right. But really looking forward to you. Please pass this on to anyone who falls into those categories. Either don't know where to start, looking to write their book, but don't know where to start. Or they've got a powerful message they want to get out there. Or they want to create a powerful brand. And this is part of that. Okay. Please share this, guys. The more people we have writing incredible books sharing incredible knowledge, creating that dent in the universe, that dent of positivity creates a wave of positivity that creates that tipping point and puts us in a very different place. That's what this is all about. Lots of love from me to you and look forward to seeing you soon in the next one. Bye for now.